Hello and welcome to another video by Chattel Motors. Today we've got for you a Ford Focus 61 plate, um, grey, very well looked after. Miles are a bit high, but she's um, um, she drives a lot better than she looks. So let's um, zoom out and show you the car. So uh, bodywork wise, she's um, quite quite well. Uh, well looked after we did see some some very slight scratches just um i think but we did we did um try polishing the car up and uh we were able to get most of them out um so more like you know when you go through narrow country lanes and then uh you you, you kind of get those bush scratches so yeah it's managed to come off um walking on to this side uh maybe it's quite nice and shiny um we didn't notice a bit over here a bit of corrosion on this side uh but again it's not because it's not the structure where uh, the car's uh, the car's okay um a little bit on this side uh we're gonna get some paint and we're gonna touch this up bit of rubber sticking out in the back over there uh, that that uh, that will be sorted out as well. Uh, the rest of the car seems okay. Um, I mean, it is getting a bit dark, but I mean, the car's decently. No, sorry, the car's uh, more or less okay. Some some paint uh, stone chips that you'll get uh, from the amount of miles that the car's had. So, in case you're wondering, this this one's done 121,000 miles. Interior is generally clean. Uh, I'll shine some light onto it. Light, light. There you go. So I've got some light here for you now. Uh, car's generally clean, and um, what's it called? Uh, you can see the miles over there. 121,071 miles. It's got the tints in the back. As you can see, so generally quite clean. Do have to push this all the way up um, over here. We'll just show you the spare wheel. So there you go, that's all the spare wheel and uh, all the tools inside it. Okay, get this back. On this side, there was a, some slight, um, seats were slightly soiled. Uh, we did try cleaning them, but we've, uh, we're gonna hire a professional valeter to clean up this car for us. And over here, Again, seats nice and clean um, and uh, yeah um, let's take this car for a drive what I did notice it uh, what I did what I've just noticed is uh, these this car's actually got the it's got the um, it's got the infrared sensor there which means uh, the car's got keyless entry and keyless go So just it's got a little over there as well. Little over there, so let's get the keys to the car. So it does come with keyless entry. So how do you do it? So okay, I don't know how don't know how it works, but it's not, it probably doesn't have it then. But some of these cars do. Do have them. So starting the car now. So start without any problems. Um, it's got uh, no come no lights in there. It's also got. A sat nav. 
Chris map. Do zoom and go out and uh, actually see it the as route well. Has been calculated. Please drive onto a digitized road. Should take a picture of it. Unfortunately, I don't think I don't think it's got reversing sensors. It does have climate control? Vehicles working. It does have a click clear windscreen? Anything else in there? Rocking wheel nut. So. There are tall roads on route. Cut seems uh, to be fine. Car, the car is quite nippy. Just uh, put my, try to put my foot down a little bit. Um, we've got a nice bit of dirt road here, and the car. It's driving well, so I'm going to change the gear. So I don't hear any suspension noises. Car seems to be alright. Um, I mean, apart from the mileage, but then again, the car's really been well looked after. She's got um, loads and loads of history as well. You can always take pictures of it now. It's all in here. So, uh, I'll put all of this online now. Um, well, that brings us to the end of this video. Well, let's just check the parking sensors. Check to see if the parking sensors are working. So I feel like the parking sensors may not be working actually. parking sensors well the only way to find out is you put it on on put it on reverse we'll just walk out the car yeah so parking sensors don't work right so that's the that's about what I mean we'll, we'll obviously try getting it fixed but just in case it doesn't <coughs> Some cars don't come with parking sensors. We're going to try and get them fixed. Uh, but in case they don't, we'll, we'll just knock some money off for you. Uh, and you can get it done yourself. So uh, that brings us to the end of the video. I do apologise for not making the best there. But I am holding two phones. One for the light. And uh, uh, what's it called? Um... Yeah, I wanted to make a video on. Um, but I'll be driving this car for the next two days, so we'll see how she goes. Um, it does have a cruise control. It's got a voice control system. It's got the sat-nav, auto lights. So she's uh, pretty well spec, I'd say. And that's an auto dimming mirror there. And uh, yeah. So... Right, we're going to have a look into that and um, we'll get back to you. Um, also got power folding mirrors as well. Alright, thank you very much for watching the video. Take care and see you guys soon.